Hi there. What this is is it's a timing circuit. Um, I've uh, you can program certain times into it, and then it'll start counting based on this switch. Uh, I've got a a POR or power on reset, which means that it's a circuit using uh, a filter and a Schmidt trigger that will allow for the counter to start at zero zero every time I, I power the circuit on. Uh, every mechanical switch is debounced properly. I use two different types of debouncing methods. I use the NAND gate latch. And I've also used a different kind, uh, which doesn't work as well, but it works well enough, using an XOR uh, gate as well as a filtering system. So I'll show you how this works. Turn it on. It's in program mode. Now it counts up. I could have set it backwards as a countdown timer, but I was just messing around when I built it. So let's say 35 seconds. Now before I show you the next part, what I want to say is, uh, the least significant digit, since I've got so many uh, different resets on this thing, I couldn't, at least in the prototype build, uh, change it so that this, the least significant digit, reset at 9. So it goes basically basically to 16 uh, through the 74LS47 driver. So I think that's pretty forgivable. I'll show you the, the cool things about this circuit. Once It's set up so that once it hits 90, uh, the timer resets uh, to 0, and this LED goes off, which means after 90 seconds, uh, something else will happen, like something will ignite or something will be turned on. Say a uh, solid state relay. Anyway, so I'll switch this, which is also a debounce switch on, and I'll start counting. Now you see how it goes from 0 to 9 and then it goes uh, these extra little bits. These are uh, part of the, uh, the, drive, the driver of the 74S47. Anyway, at any which point I can use this which is a manual reset, but I'll let it count through the sequence and resets. Now it'll reset for about 10 seconds and it'll hold this. It'll ho hold the sequence here. You'll, you'll see it. But then it'll start over. So I'm going to turn it off and uh, that just that LED just turned off, not because I turned this off, which means now I can reprogram it. But what I can do, if I want to, Let's just have it count from zero. I'll show you how I'll show you this. I've got it set up so I can change the frequency before I do that. I'll actually show you the manual reset. So that potentiometer is RB on the five 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 timer. As soon as it hits ninety, LED goes off and it holds reset. So while the pulse is still hitting the timer, it's being held at reset. Now once the LED goes off, I can reprogram it. Or I can just reset it. And there you go. I thought it was pretty interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.